Good Sunday, guys. How are we doing today? Came into the shop. I got things to do. You guys have kind of been after me on that uh, Claymore, and uh, I've been scared to get going on the guard again. But let's see. Let's give this guard another go. Um, I'm going to go back to one of my, my one of my original ideas, and that was to take a, a, a thicker piece. Now, originally I had like two inch. This is like inch and a half, I believe. And um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that down draw these out a little bit and then hopefully it's that it's the I don't know for sure if you call it the Quillian 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 sorry it's early in the morning you know how Chandler is um, that that detail that teardrop or whatever detail that comes down that's the thing that's killing me if this were just a simple guard not that I'm great at that but I it don't <laughs> but now uh, that this is the part that's, that's me got, giving me grief so I'm just gonna pull these edges up get them out of the way enough and then we'll deal with them later and then just try to bring this thing down to its teardrop shape try to get something something that anything that looks like I tried and then we'll split that I'll probably just split it with an angle grinder and then hopefully punch and, and drift the center of this I mean that's that's the objective I've seen it done I've seen it done and it's there's no reason I can't do it I don't know why I'm hesitant confidence is the key we can do this we can do this Let's go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, because we're going to have enough trouble just getting it to work, is I'm going to set my tongs. I just made a set of videos out on Patreon, uh, Patreon now <coughs> of um, what I wanted to be two-inch tongs, but I set it for a quarter inch for three sixteenths, and I set it for two inches. I'm just going to set these guys for this size stock, so that gives me something that's of decent, should give me something to hold on to, that's for sure. And it's funny, the author of the book that we reviewed on that exercise, so, you know, a blacksmith that's always setting his tongs to the, to the next product, he's a botch, they call him. But I think in this case, that's probably a good idea, and I can go back and reset those for knives later. Um, I think this will give me a little bit better hold, I certainly hope so anyway. I think we're good. All right, my buddy Mike sent me this butcher block brush. You guys always pick on me about using my little wire brush. I like it, but we're going to give this a due diligence try. He tells me this is going to work great. It certainly is a stiffer brush, that's for sure. All right, now if I can find my three dots, please, where are they? Before we get too dang cold, I can at least get my marks in. Jeez, I don't see them. I don't see them. There they are, there they are, there they are, there they are. So we got one here. Just gonna mark it since we lost a lot of the heat. And we got one here. That'll give me good marks. Alright, so those two pieces, we're gonna, we're gonna draw this hand, uh, guard back and hopefully stretch that out a little bit. By the way, if I didn't say so, thanks Mark uh, for sending, Mike? Mark. Oh crap. Now I gotta look. I might have said the guy's name was Mark. His name is Mike. Uh, and by the way, Mike, thank you for sending me this. That was very, very kind. You didn't have to do that. And we will, like I said, we'll give her a, we'll give her a good old try. Um, keep my mind open. <laughs> it certainly is tough. I mean, it's a really stiff brush. We'll see how she goes. Thank you very much for sending me that. Alright, let's, uh, we certainly can dig in with it, that's for sure. Oh, this doesn't fit my hand. Old, old dog's new tricks, right? We're just trying to drop that down. I'm fighting a little tendonitis in my elbow, tennis elbow, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to. I don't know. Probably should just take the day off.
but we are in our way. Uh, let's see the heck with the elbow and just get the four pounder out here, get some work done. Let the weight, the hammer maybe save the elbow. All right. Steel than we need. Ouch. We'll just get it off the same thickness out here. It should be easy to work if we do. farther but I'm not sure. Let's turn, the, let's turn it around, get the other side going and we'll see how we feel about it. Let me drop this side down. Let's see a little more actually. Oops. Miss, miss, miss. These are the next set of tongs I need to replace. My Rivera spike tongs. Should be in the center when we need. Let's went a little deeper on this, and I like that. Come back and match that on this side. Three quarters a little wider. Right, just, you gotta be damn close. 
close anyway now. Oh, and three quarters. It's barely three quarters. All right, let's just clean it up. I don't want something silly like an eighth of an inch or sixteenth of an inch to haunt me. I'm just gonna drop that a little more. Not much, Chandler. Just a little bit. is I was thinking and we're good and we're pretty damn good right there I was, I'm tempted to roll these two arms back so that'll give me something to hold on to while I draw this out I can also go over there and put it in the vise and try drawing it out that way but I think I'm gonna roll the arms back hopefully that's not a stupid thing but uh, I think that might help a little Get it out of the way enough. Like that. Without hurting it, you know? I think put that out of the way, I can start working that. I hope so anyway. We'll see. We'll know soon enough. I wonder if I want to go any farther with it. Go any farther with it? spring's coming. Do I want to come in here and start working it out that way or do I want to draw it out and then fatten it out? You know what I mean? I don't want a huge amount of thickness loss anywhere. But my blade is only an inch, I think inch and a quarter at that point, inch and a half and that's about two inches. So uh, I think I'm going to just kind of draw it out first. All right. And then uh, we'll spring it back together. Trying to maintain that with that thickness. I like. Alrighty. I mean, that's what's a brush to you. But I've got camera equipment and cords over there. And that's one of the reasons that I don't brush to me. But let's just go ahead and start fullering that out a little bit. I don't want it too thin because I have to cut it, you know? But if we can move it out a little. Maybe fatten her back up later. Something in this regard. I don't 
going to go? Where's the key? We got something going on. Yeah, I don't want to get too friggin' thin because I'll be right back to where I was before. Let's see what we get here. Might be going to the vise anyway. I'm just going to open these up a little bit. So that I can fit over. Fish mouth out of there. Go ahead and work it some more here. Come on. It'll give me much more control over what the heck I'm doing. That's a mark on that one right there. I think I would, well, I'm going to open that up too. I'm going to put a handle on this and open that one up a little bit. Alright, let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to just open that up a little. I don't know why. Give it a little bit of symmetry. Much more positive force put behind this. something backwards or not, but I got my upsetting block on because I really got to see in there. Get the set cleaned up a little bit. Trying to get that fish mouth drawn out. Not liking that little bit of fish mouth we have here. Now it's not the end of the world, but I want as much steel as I can out there. Get that heated up. See if we can do something better. Sometimes some of the simplest things you just don't think about. You can use all edges of the anvil, right? You're a big dummy, Chandler. Big dummy you are. Alrighty. Try to keep it as centered as possible inside this from here to here. I don't know where we got all those marks on that back. Hope we can get them out of there. Let's see if we can.
See, if we can bring it to a point right about there, I'm happy. Yeah, you get it to a point. Just about there. It's time to do that, Chandler. Time to do it. Alright, now, if we can do this without. Damaging too much. damaging too much, I'd be happy. Yeah, I'm trying not to thin it very much because I do have to cut it. If I can do that thicker, I think it'll be good. See that little tail coming off the wrong way there. That. Man, come on. I should have made this block a little bigger. Boy, come on now. It really looks like you're trying. Too thin in that channel. It's all, it's all this, you know, it's not uniform and freaking it's just it coming out uniform like it's close but see it's whoop, whoop. Yeah, I don't know I don't know I don't know Alright, let's just see if we can find a magic spot to get this thing back. If we hold it at the angle we want, work it like that. Slip off that block, you can get burnt, can it? Let me get it. Again, we can fudge around a little bit in here. It isn't horrible. It might be within grinder distance. Let me just see if we can clean that up just a hair. Scenario, we can fix that with the grinder. Right, I'm not hating it. As as I'm going to go with it now, I'll tell you that. I think we can split that okay. Let me straighten these handles out. Let's see what we got.
definitely see what we got going on there as far as not being centered. Alright, let's see what we can do about regrouping and determining what it is that we got to work with now. Which direction we're going to go next in this thing. Alright, so I kind of like that sharp swoop, so I may try to just take that out of there. Seems like a lot of work for a little dinky and freaking teardrop. She's looking awfully familiar right at the moment. Looking awfully familiar right at the moment. Something we failed at once before. Obviously this is our thickness. I'm just going to pull a little bit of thickness out on each side so I have something to play with. And it's just, I'm a little worried about how thin it is again. Damn it. So let's just pull. Just enough. To Pretty sure it's going to be something pretty simple. We've got a lot more to do. A lot more to do. other side. Right, let's just finish this side up over here. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. All right, well, I don't know if we've been here before or not, but that's where we are. And then the, the thing I want to do next is 
slice this cheek out down, right down the middle, without losing very much material at all. Matter of fact, let me heat that and get it straight. I'm not sure how to do that, and I'm half tempted to go buy myself a brand new hacksaw blade and do it by hand. You can use the grinder, which is a 16th, but chances are they doubles by the time you get done messing around. Uh, with a hacksaw blade, maybe I can control it better. I don't know. I gotta think. First thing I wanna do is get this thing kind of. Kind of straight. So the cut is gonna be much more controlled. And it looks a little better. A little better. Sawzall, maybe. Just so I can be able to get down in there. Alright, well, I'm going to split this. I'm not sure how, but I'll tell you when I get done. Alright, I've decided we're going to go with the hacksaw approach first and see how that works. It should be fun. It's happening. More and more and more, I see that. Thank goodness. Alright, let me set this up. Oh, been a while since I've tried doing something like this. Usually I'm hacking and hacking. Now, they told me to put this on with the teeth moving forward. I don't understand that. So I put it on backwards. Because that's me. I'm the, I'm the radical. myself over into the center a little bit more. Oops. Seems like you'd be able to cut better with a pull. I'll be back. started with a hacksaw, got about one blade in, and I was walking a little bit, so I had to run over to the uh, angle grinder and just get things straightened back out, but we did okay as far as trying to keep her centered, alright, I hope anyway, so now we got to figure out what to do on this side, perfectly centered, with that center point, we need to get either a hole in there to drift, or a couple of holes that file out. I gotta work that out. Alright, we haven't seen the old baby in quite a while. Matter of fact, she's getting a little rusty. Um, Alright, I'm thinking that's gonna be good. Uh, it'll be more like that, I would imagine. So the key, again, I, this is stuff I haven't done about a whole lot of. The key is gonna be to get that a little smaller than this. And then what do I do with these guys? Do I 
Let's just butt that up or do I try to recess them a little bit? You know, there's, those are all things I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So what I think I'm going to end up doing right now is duplicating uh, what this is. I don't want to put, oops, sorry, I'm too low. Duplicating this structure in here because I don't want to put any heat on this, although I have all of this in that handle that, that I suppose I could temper. But, because uh, if you remember, this thing was uh, the, the one I boiled in oil for that long. I don't want to go through that again. No way. So, I, uh, I'm going to just forge up something that's similar to this or grind up. I might just grind it up to make it quick. And then we'll work on figuring out how to drift that to fit into that, that spot. Kind of crazy. It's easy to do once you know how to do it, but when you've never done it. It makes for a little bit of a craziness. I'll be back. All right, what I said I'm going to do is I'm at least going to start with one pilot hole. All right? We're going to at least start with one pilot hole. So I want to draw my center line back to... I don't to do it by eye because things aren't square anyway. You just draw a score like that, a little bit of an angle, you can move a little bit. Alright, so I put that score in, I'm not sure if you can see it, yeah you can see it there. Alright, which that tells me where my center is going to be in the back here. And I'm going to just, let's just get one hole drilled, something small like a sixteenth. I don't, I don't have a whole lot of material here. I think I have five sixteenths I gotta, I gotta form to. So I, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to try to slit that rather than just drill it out. I don't have enough material back there to, to do it. And then we can drift that out to the right size, I hope. So that's gonna be step number one. Is, uh, let's get one hole in there and then we'll try to put some holes on either side. See if we can get them straight, centered, and straight down through. All right, here goes nothing. Let's hope we're going to be close. Let's hope we're going to be close. Got about an eighth inch bit in there. side and I can see daylight from the crack to that hole which means we're hit it we hit it just right perfect perfect all right I'm gonna I'm actually gonna put two other holes in there right next to each other I'm kind of confident in my approach right now I hate to drill it out but we're gonna do it We are going to drill it up. Just the eighth inch. I mean, we still got some drifting to do. Try to get my uh, score line as vertical as possible. Luckily, we are hitting center, so that's good. And we'll just drill a few more. Wow. 
didn't drill out the side. Uh, I got three holes that I can see light through. So that, whew, that's farther than we got last time. Now what do you do, Chandler? I think we're going to just go ahead and try slitting that thing open now, eh? I think we're going to try slitting that thing open. I think it's the right thing to do. Do we need any more holes to do that? Not really, it'll stretch. Just on this side, right? Alrighty. Alright, I'm scared now. Alright, I made a little drift. Won't lie to you, it's mild steel, but hopefully it's enough to get a, a cut in there. Um, slit drift. We'll try to do both sides, see what happens. If it looks like it's working but the mild steel is failing, then I'll, I'll, I'll make something out of, of, uh, out of something else. Let's just see if we can split that sucker open. We're really so close right now, I'm scared. Alright, I know you guys are rooting for me, so thank you. Well, most of you are anyway. Let's see if I made it so I go this way. too much about that so I can't get my drift out. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Man, that elbow hurts. Boom, 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 da 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 da. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Don't think about it, I have to worry about tempering my drift. figure it out. Damn it. A little beefier handle on the drift and I was able to pound it right out of there. So we're on our way to the next one. Alright, let's see how bad my thought of using an arrow or drift is going to come back to haunt me. I'm afraid it's going to work that hole over. That's all that matters. I can work the rest out. I can work the rest out. And that came right out. We know how to do it. Let's see what we got to work with. Man, I hate being dumb sometimes, but right, we ain't horrible. But that that hole worked its way that way. So I'm gonna have to do that manually. Somehow, some way. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it at all. Isn't horribly off center. Now, let me think. Right, I'm just gonna try to run this thing through a little crooked and hope that I can get over where I need to be. I think that did the trick right there. I really do. I really, really do. And if it didn't. Get as much as it needs to, I guess. Put on anything hot. Alright. I think what we have we can work with. We just straighten this out a little bit. Alright. Close enough. I think I can make that happen now. Alright, now I'm gonna make. Get out of here, can't I? Yeah, I can't. It's centered. It's centered. It's centered. 
enough, I think, on these points. I think we can make everything else happen. All right, let me reproduce that the shape of that tank. All right, so again, it's made up of a quick little uh, mandrel template drift, whatever. That should go in this way, and it should mimic from the shoulders to the tang. Okay, guys, here goes nothing. Here goes everything. Here goes everything. Stay upright. Center yourself up. Make sure I'm not walking off to one side or another here. I am though. I am, I am, I am. Do, 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 do. I don't want to rip anything out. Alright, so I'm working one side more than the other. A couple of reasons for that. Number one, the top of this isn't totally flat. She wants to sit at an angle. So figure out how I can work both sides. Let me come down from the top on the next one. Maybe that'll help persuade things where they need to be. God, if I rip this thing out right now, I'm gonna cry. You'll see me cry. Let's try it from the top side and see if we get a heated one side a little more than the other. Let's hope it drifts in that direction. Take that. That's looking pretty darn good right there. So we got that side drifted and she, she doesn't look horribly off center. So we, all we need to do is come back down. We got to set this side. This is the side that needs to be set. So let's heat her up again. I'm getting really scared. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Please just set beautifully and we will be done. Set beautifully and we will be done. That beautifully and we will be done. And done. Don't look too bad right there. Both shoulders are down. Yep, I don't like it. As far as shape goes anyway. Whew. I don't know, children. It's kind of scary. that we're close enough to, to this thing maybe working and it looks good there it looks good there let's cool it down see how far we can get on that tang now I don't expect to get very far but I'm hoping things at least prove or show that they're gonna work so I'm gonna hot set that and hopefully cool it to lock it in once she's shaped with the sword. Let's see if we got anything that we can pretend to work with here. Now, nah, see, she's a little tight up in there. That's the problem. She's gonna have to go on hot. Once she's on, she's gonna have to be right. Gosh almighty. See, I'm, I, my tang is a little fatter back here. I hate to grind it off because I wanna put this on hot. And it's, it'll stretch. The question is, will it be right when it gets down there? And that'll be the end of it, if it isn't right. Shit. All right, we're definitely good there. And I think we're good there. I think we're going to be okay. I think we'll get this sucker hot and just drive the sucker right down through there once we have everything where we want it to be. Hopefully it works. Oh, crap. All right, so with that in mind, let's finish this, this guard up to the point of grinding. I think it's going to be an ugly. I apologize for that, but 
Let me figure out what final shape I want on it. And uh, we'll forge that in and get it ground up. Alright, so I nipped off four and a half inches from each side. There's you know there's a little more meat here. We'll just start forging this thing out to get it kind of you know clean. And we'll just do a simple, I think, straight and then just flare out uh, each end is what I'm gonna do. Alright, let's just see what we're gonna do here. Cleaning this up. Cleaning this up a little bit. A little bit of a taper to the end. And at this point, I'm happy with what I have, so I'm not going to go crazy with it. Get it cleaned up. up a little and on the end I don't know whether I want to go this way with the flare or this way with the flare I just flare it out that way hopefully we got the same amount of meat on each side right, let's just take this last bit enough for the grinder to be able to clean up the rest. See if we can duplicate that on the other side. If we can't, I'll call that good for me, I'll tell you. Good for me. Again, we're just going to try to clean her up a little. A little bit of a taste in that way. Much. So far, it looks like it's going to be about the same size. It's good. Good, which is good, which is good. A little narrower on the end there, I think. My approach today for this guard was to actually do it in two pieces and look I think that's probably the way it should be done from weld these suckers on after but so far we got something that at least I can use and I'm gonna just keep going with it until something else happens. Alright I think that's about the right length. Hopefully once we flare this out we'll look symmetric. Let's hope let's hope something within range of grinder repair. I think that's within range of grinder repair. Center is just about six there. It looks a little short on this side. 
visually it looks shorter. Let's go ahead and see if we can squeeze some without causing too much disruption here. This is kind of hokey, I think. Not much, but just a little bit more. Call it that, holy cow, is it going to be true? Call it that and we'll get on the grinder, get her shaped and see what we end up with. We twisted it all with our little tines on the end. Don't fall, just, just stay there, just for a little look, you see. A little bit, but not bad. Alright, well there it is, at least it's something, it might work. Farther than we've been before, let me hit the grinder with it. I right, just kind of cleaned her up a little bit just to get an idea of what she'd... Well, just to get it cleaned up, I guess. Hopefully we go to put her on, she's going to look like that. Hopefully. But I'm going to go to do that right now. I'm going to hope to hell I can, once it's hot, I can drive that sucker all the way down. And get it set in there where I want it. Lined up the way I want it and then quench it and lock it in place. That's what I'm hoping. I don't know. All right, children, this is the plan. Never haven't done this before. I'm scared out of my mind. I have the sword clamped in the vise with some uh, wood underneath the point. I have two half by half um, pieces of uh, steel clamped to the, the main, main part of the blade. So if I hammer on it, uh, hopefully we're not going to bow or break that, that blade. I got a piece of wood. Now I'm going to come over, I hope. Put that tang on, put this piece of wood over it, well get it down a little bit, put this piece of wood over it, and then take this pipe and just drive it to set it. That is the plan. Seems like a good plan, doesn't it? I think it does. Let's just hope it works, alright? I'm going to heat, this, heat that sucker up and we'll see what happens. Slight modification to the pipe, I put up just a, uh, something on top so I have something to hammer on. What do you guys think? I'm gonna make it all the way down. I don't, I don't have a lot of confidence. But what do you know? You know, you only know until you try, or you don't know until you try. This is a little bit keyed. Just step on that. Be hot while I check this out. Step on that. It's a little shorter on this side. And it's shorter on that side. So when I come out, I need to go on like this. Supposedly. Alright, let's go. You only live once, Chandler. Only live once. You only live once. You only live once. Street, 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 street. You're going to mark it with 
right? She's freaking out. Holy shit. It worked. She's on, she's on. Better close these guys up. Close you up. I got too much weight here. And then quite the circuit to quit. <laughs> Shit, I got scared there for a while. Son of a bitch, guys. It ain't pretty, but it's freaking there, okay? It ain't pretty, but it's freaking there. Holy cow, that worked. Ah. We didn't break the sword in the process. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry it's ugly, but I don't care. It's there. A little, a little torch work maybe, but nah, it's as ugly as Chandler wants it to be. Okay, hold tight. Okay, children. You thought I would never get to this point? Some of you never thought I'd get to this point. There she is. The guard is on. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it isn't ugly either. It isn't simple. We were able to pull that freaking teardrop down. Son of a gun. Oh, and it's, I mean, it's on there because we put her on super hot, quenched her right on her. Locked her in tighter than a, well, tighter than a lot of things, I guess. And I'm just checking, I haven't checked it. it lined up with the sword, it lined up enough for me. That, my friends, is a hell of an accomplishment. All we got now is to get the pommel on, and that hopefully is nothing more than drilling and a little filing. And then I, I want to do stacked leather on this thing. I love that look, I know you guys say that it can loosen up, but uh, I love stacked leather. That would just be awesome to have that look, a little leather wrapped around here for the Fuck grab. Man. Oh, my elbow hurts. Alright, if you can tell I'm happy. I can't get you the money shot. There it is. Guard's on. Guard is on. Ugly, but on. Right. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for your patience. I know that you've been waiting a while for this, but it takes a special kind of day for me to to want to, especially after failing so many times, but uh, damn, I'm very, very happy. Of course, I'm disgusted with the quality of the work and you know marks and stuff. But for the, yeah, I'm happy as can be. Thanks for all your support. Um, I, let's see, yeah, I will do a foresight chat, chat pretty soon. Thanks for your support, and man, we are getting close. Pommel, and I think stack leather is what I'd like to do. Ciao. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right hand side of the screen called support and it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video and that'll help me make some more, I guarantee. Thanks for your support as always.